I am the type of person that when I get an idea in my head, I will think about it for maybe a few hours, maybe a day, but then I need to make it happen ASAP. So that is exactly what led us to be here today. I fell into a hole that I fall into quite often of watching Brad Mondo videos all this morning. And then that convinced me like, I need to do this right now. I need a hair transformation. It's been a while. And I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's kind of like, I mean, it's brown, but it is definitely orangey. I think that's from the sun coloring it this way, I'm assuming. Um, but today what we're gonna do is I'm going to try to follow Brad Mondo's advice in terms of how to do an at-home balayage on your hair. So I don't know if this is gonna be a one day thing, whether I'm going to get to where I want to be today or if this will be continued in, um, you know, over the course of a couple days, a week, who knows? We'll stay here, we'll find out. So a little bit of backstory. At the beginning of the year, I ended up having to have an unexpected brain surgery where they ended up having to shave off like this whole front section of my hair and you guys can see like it really is growing back in nicely like I'm at the point where I feel like I've actually got hair which for a while I did not feel like I had any hair to work with so I've been holding off doing anything to my hair for probably I mean obviously since then but even before then it's maybe been like a year since I've done anything in terms of color to my hair so I made a trip to Sally's and I got what I think is going to get me to where I need to be. So here are the steps that I'm going to be taking. The first one is I want to tone out all of the orange in my hair. I do not want this to be here so that the pieces that are not colored with the balayage highlights are a nice cool brown color. So I got a demi-permanent color that I'm going to deposit with a 10 volume developer all over the head to hopefully take out all of these orange um, undertones and I got that in an ash color. So essentially what the A means is that it is a blue tone undertone and that will counteract all of the orange in my hair or so we hope. So that will be step one is I'm going to deposit this demi permanent hair color all over my hair let that sit and hopefully when I come back I have nice cool toned hair to work with. Then from there what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up some bleach with a 30 volume developer and I will be hand painting in balayage highlights into my hair. So I think I want just like, you know, sporadic, nice yellow, not yellow, sporadic, nice cool toned highlights throughout, maybe some like money pieces as Brad Mondo calls them in the front um, with really light ends. And then hopefully in the future that will give me the ability to deposit semi-permanent color onto my blonde hair. So I can do fun colors like pink, blue, purple, and live my best life. So that will be the next step. And then the very final step is if those uh, blonde pieces come out orange or yellow, I will be depositing another demi-permanent color onto that to hopefully tone those to be cool tones. So overall, I'm going for a very cool toned look and we shall see how this goes. I will uh, show you guys the setup I'm working with along with an overview of all of the items I picked up at Sally's today. This is not the set of Dexter, but I could definitely see where you may get confused and think that you may have wandered into the bathroom of a serial killer. I have laid plastic wrap all over my sink because I do not think my property management company would like me dyeing these solid surfaces whatever color they may turn out to be. So I'm taking extra precautions this time around because I have learned from the past and I will not make that mistake again. So here are all of our lovely supplies here. Um, this is the demi-permanent hair color I'm gonna be applying first. That is going to help tone my current hair color. So my current hair color is a level seven and then the A stands for ash. This demi-permanent hair color is for after my hair has been bleached if I need to tone those blonde pieces. This is the powder bleach that needs to be mixed with developer. So that will be what actually gives me the highlights. These are all of our developers. The 30 volume, it is for the bleach. This will actually lift your hair um, 
multiple shades. The color charm is going to go with this color charm box here. That is essentially um, what will get mixed with this. That will help to tone my hair the first time. This is the 10 volume developer that will go with this one here when I need to tone my hair that way. Then we have the necessities. I've got gloves, a hairbrush for painting on the balayage highlights, a mixing bowl, and can we just say like, this is such a pretty color. Goes with this bottle. And then I got foils. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need these, but the packaging kind of sucked me in. It also says purple, blue, and black sheets. Um, I like the sound of colorful foils in my hair. And the girl at Sally's said, this will help me. And even if uh, I don't wanna go super light with the highlights, I like the idea that this will help prevent color transfer from the highlighted pieces getting onto the pieces that are gonna remain dark. All right, I have changed into a very similar shirt, but one that I do not care about at all. Um, the first step is I'm gonna be mixing one part of the demi-permanent hair color with two parts of the activating lotion. So that's gonna to equate to, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this whole thing in the mixing bowl and then about half of this will be a one to two part ratio. So that is what we are gonna go ahead and do first. gonna shut the door so that he doesn't get in here near all of this stuff and these chemicals so there was a brief moment in my life where I considered going to cosmetology school because I do love doing makeup I do not do it as much anymore but for a while there it was a huge part of my life so it was around the time where I was gonna be graduating with my bachelor's in interior design that I was like, oh, cosmetology school isn't that long. Maybe I should just go ahead and get that. But then I realized I hated doing nails and I suck at doing hair. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense that I'm doing this right now. Um, and I decided not to go because it just didn't make a lot of sense for me if all I really liked to do was makeup. But here we are now. I'm going to be dyeing my hair, which I've been dyeing and cutting my own hair. I've only gotten my hair professionally dyed one time. And I probably haven't gotten a proper haircut in three years I've just been doing it all on my own and I did end up getting pretty good at doing haircuts for other people during quarantine so I feel pretty good about my abilities this is a uh, what we are looking at with the first demi permanent hair color and when it comes to toning your hair you can just slap this on you do not need to be precise in the least it is more about Get it all on as quickly as possible so that it all develops at the same time or at the same rate. And I've already spilled some on the counter, so good thing I have this plastic on the counter. So I'm just going to go ahead, slap this all over my hair in a very haphazard way, and we will check back in when I already have this process fully done. I look like freaking Dr. Evil right now. Mm. Um, yeah, so I just put 20 minutes on the clock. I'll probably put like a plastic bag over this to help um, process the color a little bit better and then we will see how this part turns out. So you guys probably can't tell, I just rinsed all the color out of my hair. We were not cool toned before but I can already tell that we are definitely cooler toned now. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a blow dry and we'll see where we're left at. Alright guys, are you ready? Here is where we are at now that we have done the toning on my previously basically like orangey red hair and I know it's probably like kind of hard to see because the bathroom lighting and everything definitely made my hair darker but I'm okay with that because I feel like it already looks worlds better and one thing I will say uh, in relation to like if you do a box dye like this is obviously not box dye this is salon grade products this demi permanent hair color smelled so good and it did not smell like chemicals at all so it's very like mild I think it's good for sensitive scalp is something that I read on there um, but I think it's looking so good and I feel like this is maybe giving me the courage to just go ahead and do the balayage today too I'm gonna rewatch Brad Mondo's balayage video one more time and just make sure I can be as prepped as possible before I do this and hope that I have not ruined what I have going here because this already looks so much better. 
Okay, with, with how difficult these were to put in and how bad they look now, I can definitely see this coming out as another fail, which I'm really hoping it doesn't, especially given the fail that I just had with the TikTok cloud bread. But I just have my fingers crossed that the gods are looking down on me and they're like, man, this has been a rough year. Let's just give her this. That would That would be optimal. So now that I have these in, I am going to wait. How long am I gonna wait though? That's the question. Well, just check every five to 10 minutes. I already checked the first piece that I wrapped and I can see it's definitely lifting, but it is not at the point that I want it to be. Um, it's always gonna look lighter before you rinse it than even after it's rinsed. So you wanna make sure it looks extra light before you rinse it and then it'll probably come out darker and then that's where you can tone it. So now we just play the waiting game. I just took the foils off. So you guys can see I've definitely got some lighter pieces in there. Um, at this point, I think it is time to wash this out. I'm hoping that this comes out okay because I am not sure at this point. Like, is the ratio of my dark hair to my light hair okay? Is this going to come out as light and bright as I want it to? Is it going to be full on orange? I'm not sure. So um, let's just see about it. Sir, do you feel like you're missing out on the fun here? You know, in a few minutes I've got to get in that tub and wash my hair out. Why you look so freaking crazy? It's not a huge difference. Definitely not. But I'm going to consider it a success that I feel like I didn't really mess up my hair a ton. Like I was worried about. So... Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Like you can see I've got this nice little swoop here of like a lighter, lighter color. I don't know. I mean, I took, I've showered three times today. I had to tone, bleach, tone again. And I don't know if the outcome was that drastic. I kind of feel like it'd be better if I came on here with like a whole new look. Like, look at me guys. You've never seen this girl before. If you want it to be a little bit lighter, maybe let your bleach process a little bit longer. I think I might have let mine process for about 40 minutes on the first pieces that I did. And then it might have only been like 30 minutes or so on the later pieces. But um, yeah, I mean, I guess, you know, just let the bleach keep processing and uh, you should be fine. Just don't mess with it too much because your hair is very fragile while it is being bleached. So we are back in the car to continue the hair journey because it's a day later and I'm not happy with the results and I did not get like a large enough container of the bleach powder so I'm just going to go ahead and get a big container and then I'll be set forever because I've got plenty of the developer to keep doing this forever how long I need to do it for. Um, so yeah, I need to go out and get more bleach which is silly that I need to go make a trip just for this but... I'm going to continue lightening my hair. I mean, you can definitely see that the ends are a lot lighter. You can see, like, now that I've got my hair down. But it really comes into play when I get to, like, these upper portions here. It's really not that light. So I'm going to go get some more lightener. Because in the future, I do want to put, like, semi-permanent fun colors in my hair. And I just want, when that fades, my hair to be cool-toned and light underneath where it's lightened. So... Here we go, day two. All right, we are back yet again in my bathroom and it is because I'm not happy with my results. So I'm going to bleach my hair yet again today and hope that everything turns out better this time. So I talked to the girl at the Sally's Beauty store and she was saying, this is the one I need to go for if I really want light, bright, cooler toned highlights. And she said maybe the reason the toning didn't work yesterday is because I still didn't get my hair lifted to the right level. So I'm gonna keep this short. I'm gonna change back into the shirt that I was wearing yesterday and we are going to freaking get this done.
is about 12 hours after I got ready this morning. I just made it through my full work day, but I wanted to check you guys in on how my lovely weekend hair journey turned out. So I did end up going back to get the second round of bleach supplies, bleached my hair again, toned it, and then this is how everything turned out. Um, definitely a lot less orange than it was, and I think after doing my toning again in like four to six weeks from now, um, it'll take out whatever brassiness is left, and I think I'm gonna be super happy with it. So I think it just feels nice for whatever's left of summer, and it was a good change for me. Um, yeah, if you guys ended up enjoying this video or if you learned anything at all, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm glad that you guys uh, took some joy out of watching me go through this process. Um, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!